Hey guys, this you can never get my head. <laughs> can you see? <laughs> okay, um, welcome to my channel, guys. My name is Chioma, aka VV London. On this channel, you'll be referring to me as VV London because you know. Okay, first you get your corn. This is the corn I got. I got it for three pounds ninety nine from from an African store. You can actually get it from a supermarket or a store. First, you start by soaking your corn. We already washed the corn and soaked it for four days, and this is what it looks like after four days of fermentation. And we're going to wash and drain it. After washing and drying, we blend to get a very smooth meal. After blending, you sieve with your cheese clothes. You can get the cheese clothes from Amazon. I bought mine online, so you can order online. Use a cheese cloth to sieve so that you get the chaff out.
so this is the chaff we got out of the mixture <laughs> and this is the watery part containing the pap the meal that you want so you allow it to sit for two to three hours and you can notice the change in color because you have the water above and then the main cornmeal beneath so we are going to drain the water off but yeah you can see the pap itself ah looking good Now we've successfully drained the watery parts. We are going to use the cheese cloth to properly drain the water because if we keep draining the water now, you will end up wasting the corn itself, the product you need. So you're going to put it into the cheese cloth so the cheese cloth doesn't let the main meal that you're after to drain out as well. So So now you tie up the cheese clothes and th this one is actually a bag then you dr you allow it to sit you put something heavy on it yes so it drains it squeezes so it will squeeze the water out properly yeah if you have something heavier please drop it on top the goal is so that it drains fast within a short period of time so this is it after so much <laughs> squeezing we are have to add more things on top so it's so the, the pressure on it is more so yes this is the end product looking nice so now you can go ahead and make your pop enjoy it with your baby you can put date syrup i put date syrup for when my baby's gonna have it and when me and my husband is going to have it we use honey so enjoy bye thanks for watching enjoy let me know what you think in the comment section let me know if you have any suggestions if you've done it before what you think and if you try it also come and let me know how it went all right enjoy bye